this is a topic I've been talking about. It just seemed regular to me. I mean, last night, for example, Monday Night Football, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they have Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time. The backup is Blaine Gabbert, not someone that they're developing for the future. But the the Bucs are up, I want to say 17, 27 to 10 with 649 left, and they pull Brady and bring in Gabbert to just hand off and go through the motions because the game was over. But the Niners didn't do that. They have Jimmy Garoppolo, who's not Tom Brady, not even half a Tom Brady. And they have Trey Lance, who is supposedly the future, unlike Blaine Gabbert over there. And he didn't get in the game until like three minutes left. There were two other possessions before that in the fourth quarter when the Niners were up by 24 and 30. Uh, 27, I want to say. Didn't play. What did you make of that? No big deal? You know, I was watching the game with my fa- my mother and father, actually, and we all said the same thing. We were kind of looking at the clock, and it's the fourth quarter, and we were like, so at a certain point, did you notice Jimmy seemed banged up a little bit in the fourth quarter early? Yes. And he went to the sideline, and he seemed like he bent over a little bit in pain. My father threw something out that I do understand. I think, can you imagine if Jimmy had come out after that snap? We would, well, we would have started this conversation with, what do you think of the Jimmy injury? And right. I think that... It's. I, I have to give the coaching credit. I think they were protecting his image, a little bit. A little bit. They were. They were doing damage control with the media, with the team. However, you're probably right. Jimmy but hold on. Back Why there, was he injured? Because he was in the game in the fourth quarter. He got sacked in the fourth quarter, up twenty four right. twenty seven. Right, and that's that's the thing. When the game is in hand, to be honest with you, I don't see why Bosa needs to be out there, or Kittle, or, or or any or Debo. You know, they actually did start. Handing the ball off to Trey Sermon more, giving the first stringers a little bit more rest. Um, why not do the same with your quarterback? So, yes, absolutely. Bruce Arians did a really good job pulling Brady out. And the thing is, when you're playing, a, I don't want to call them a lowly team, but a team who's not scoring a lot of points, i.e. the Giants, the Jaguars, this were similar kinds of games. Overcharged San Francisco versus Humble, Jacksonville, same thing with Tampa Bay. But the difference with Arians over Shanahan is that he manages the potential for aggressive hits, late hits, and just the wear and tear on Tom Brady's body. It might be a non-contact injury he takes to the knee. Jimmy also has knee issues. So, uh, yes, I agree. He should have come out probably towards the beginning of the fourth quarter. That's what even the whole quarter. Some some Niner fans don't like this topic. My dad is out on this topic. He doesn't want to talk about Trey Lance. I know. He's not relevant to this season. Don't talk about him. Okay, fine. The, The other way to talk about the other way to talk about this topic is forget Lance. Jimmy's the quarterback, right? Jimmy's so important that Lance doesn't matter, right? Then you got to protect Jimmy. And the fact that you let Jimmy Garoppolo take that sack in the fourth quarter up 27 points is unacceptable because you've seen that Jimmy Garoppolo, he could land on his shoulder. He could, he could, he could mess up his ankle on the way down. He's, he's not the most graceful faller. He gets hurt when he gets sacked. You don't want him taking that hit up so much, get him out of the game and bring in Sudfeld or whatever, but get him out. I actually said the same thing. Uh, was Sudfeld even active? No. But I mean, right. it's like, forget Lance. Protect Jimmy Garoppolo if, if you if you like him that much. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Uh, even, even, again, that's why I want to bring up Bosa and Kittle and Debo. When you have good players and you are up so much in a game, so late in a game, that's when you start really either heavily rotating or just take them out altogether. So many times growing up, I've seen people like Peyton Manning, uh, you know, Shannon Sharp, Young. my favorite players growing up with the with the cap on their head. I was talking about that yesterday. As a kid, you, you knew it was over when you saw Steve Young talking to Jerry Rice on the sideline with the baseball cap on. It was over. Exactly. And it was every week. You would always get a little bit of Elvis Gerback every week. It was nice. Hey, it's exactly. Elvis and, and, and that's that, again, you you just never. And I mean, Steve Young's career was ended on things like late hits. You just never know when someone's going to tee off out of frustration or just accidentally. He should have come out. Absolutely. Uh, I was, and the thing is, I think they put Trey Lance as an afterthought. I mean, when they put him in, there just did not seem to be much points. I'm just saying real quick. In 1994, which is the first year I really remember uh, in the world, well, of football, Elvis Gerback appeared in 11 games through 50 passes. In 95, he appeared in 16 games, started five. In 96, he appeared in 15 games, started four. So we're not remembering incorrectly. Every, there was always a little bit of Gerback time. After at the end of a win, if they were getting – there was a little bit of back time. You wanted your backup quarterback to be ready in case the starter got hurt because you don't know when the starter's going to get hurt. That's the thing. Like, Jimmy's playing great, and you're going to have him the rest of the season, and the plan is to sit Trey Lance. Well, the plan goes out the window whenever Jimmy Garoppolo gets his next boo-boo. 
or whatever it is. Owie, ankle, shoulder, knee. It happens. So why wouldn't you want your guy to be ready? Isn't that the whole point? I don't know. I'm going on a rant. The Niners won the game, and it's a great thing. You know, in other sports, they also do this. Even in baseball, if you're if you're up heavy in the in the seventh, eighth, ninth innings, they will actually take their starting third basements out and things right. like that. Like right. I'm an ace fan. I've seen Chapman come out in the seventh inning because we're up like six to one or something. Just so something weird won't happen because weird things exactly. happen in sports all the time.